Hi everyone and welcome to this new session about Azure Container Apps. In the last episode, we have seen how to add Azure Key Vault and manage its identity to our application that is exposed to external. Today, in this session, we are going to see how to set up a domain name for our Azure Container Apps. For that, we need to go to our application and if you can see here our application URL here, if we click on it, in this link that we have here by default from Microsoft, if we click on this, we would see actually this is not good to share with clients or to external users. So this is one URL and it's not good practice to work with this when we have application dedicated for users. For that, we need to add our custom domain. In this demo, I have this domain and I will be adding it to our application. For that, we need to click on custom domains here and click on add custom domain. Here we will be asked if you want to manage certificate, bring our own certificate or add certificate later. I will add the certificate later. Here we will have, we need to validate that we have that our uh, domain name and to tell uh, Microsoft or Azure portal that this domain name belongs to us. So I will use my domain uh, provider, which is GoDaddy, in order to validate those steps. I have already done that because it will take a few minutes in order to be saved. And I have added already those records here inside the portal of GoDaddy. As you can see here, we have an A record with my uh, the IP address of the application and a TXT record that contain a chain for validating this domain name. Okay, so here we have been validated and we are adding the custom domain name. We'll wait a few seconds in order for this domain to be added to our Azure Container app. Okay, for that, for this, uh, we need something else, which is generating SSL certificate for our domain to be secured. For that, I have used the SSL free website in order to generate a free certificate for 90 days. And in order to validate that domain uh, belongs to us, we are going to be uh, asked to add this CNAME record in order to validate that with this website. In order to do that too, after uh, validating that, we will have uh, three files that will be generated by the SSL free website. But in the Azure portal, we'll be asked to have a pfix file. And I'm going to show you how to generate this. This is the pfix file in order to use it with the portal. So you need to go to this website and add the files, as you can see here, in order to generate the pfix file, uh, file. And you need to add password for that. If you want to step by step using PowerShell or the portal, you can see my blog post here that I have created before about custom domain and SSL TLS certificates dedicated for generating the PFX file. I will share the link below on this video. Okay, this is the name of the blog that I have created. And right now, as you can see, we have one error that is no binding, which means it cannot see a certificate used or dedicated to this domain, which means it's not secured. For that, I will need to bring a certificate. I already have bring the certificate before. That's why I will find it right here in the portal. But if you are going to bring it the first time, you are going to have this add certificate and you will need to add this APX file directly to the portal. So let's check that certificate that I already have added before. As you can see here and let's click add and wait for a few seconds in order to this certificate to be added to that domain name that we have. Let's wait a few seconds. And we will see our certificate added to our domain name. Actually, it's a good practice. If you want to test, you can use this website or 
you can also buy from them a certificate okay as you can see here the certificate have been added as you can see if we go to certificates we will see our certificate here that its statue succeeded and here we have our application here we have and to write the old link as you can see that here let's go and check out our link if it is working let's go up and you can see here we have our application with the new domain name and it is secured as you can see if you click here we have a certificate and we can even test it on private navigation in order to see if it is working correctly as you can see here we have added a new domain name to our application that can be shared externally or to other people and it's a good practice to secure that domain with an SSL certificate in order to protect it from attacks that's great I use it this zero SSL website I will share the links below on the video and in this demo we have seen how to add domain names for our Azure Container application. Follow and we will see more about Azure Container apps. Thank you.